Hi church family, welcome to Pause to Pray this week. I am hiding in the doorway of the church right now, looking out on our uh, Bethlehem live set that is coming together. Yeah, you might say that it doesn't look like Bethlehem quite yet, but you know what? With a little bit more burlap and some colored fabric and some tea lights and just a little bit less light out here, and it really comes together quite amazingly. And it's already coming together inside here, which is where I'm going to stay today instead of wandering around in the freezing rain outside. Uh, inside here, you can see we've got decorations. All the set supplies for Bethlehem Live are here in the hallway. We've got costumes. We've got a donkey. We've got, we'll have a real donkey, of course, too, when Bethlehem Live comes around. There are lots of preparations happening this week for Bethlehem Live. We are so excited about this outreach ministry that we get to do every single year since, oh, I don't know, 2013, I think it was. Uh, it's an amazing outreach opportunity that we have for the town, and I think it's so fitting that we are talking about Bethlehem Live and praying for it this week um, in light of the fact that uh, we just had Mission Sunday, and we were just talking on Sunday about what it looks like to do ministry in our local context as individuals. We talked about the global role that the church has that we participate in. The, uh, we talked about the national ways that we participate in God's mission. And, uh, and now we get to live uh, some of the local ways that we participate in declaring the gospel and doing the ministry of reconciliation right here in Mitchell. So we are going to be praying for uh, Bethlehem Live, for God to call people, to get people's attention, that this would be a powerful time for many people, families uh, who come out here to see the whole story of Jesus' life, his, his birth, absolutely, but also his life and death on the cross and his resurrection. So uh, please join me in praying for Bethlehem Live but right before we do few prayer requests. We're still praying for Harvey Jordan uh, in the hospital. We're still praying for Janet Schneider as she recovers. And, uh, and we're also just going to pray for uh, all of our, uh, there's some seniors who we're praying for today. Um, so a few I won't name in particular, um, but uh, a few that we are reaching out to uh, because they're shut in and, uh, and they're needing connection. If that's something you're interested in, is connecting with some people who are shut in, please let me know. Uh, there are some opportunities to connect with people here in town who uh, are open to having someone give them a phone call or stop by for a visit. Um, we're also uh, praying for, uh, just just came to me this morning uh, across my desk that, uh, that we had someone fall in the church family here this morning. Uh, so we're going to be praying for them. Uh, that uh, that they recover quickly and there's no complications from the fall. Uh, I think that's all that's come up today, so would you join me in praying? Father God, as you are the one who does your mission in the world and you invite us into your mission, we praise you for your mighty work of salvation and gospel proclamation that you are orchestrating in the world today. We thank you that you invite us into this mission and you give us a part to play in your great kingdom work. And for some of us, that is donating time. For some of us, it's giving some supplies. For some of us, it's using our acting skills. For some of us, it is setting up and tearing down. A lot of work goes into an event like Bethlehem Live, God. So Thank you that you've gifted so many different people in this congregation to be part of this ministry and outside of this congregation. God, we praise you for the way that we get to participate in the life of Christians from the community who love to help out with Bethlehem Live. We praise you that we get to bless uh, Youth Unlimited with donations and the food bank with donations from this event. Uh, God, we pray that you would use this event most of all to let people hear the good news about Jesus. That is our desire. That is the goal. That's why we do this, God. And I pray that that would be why we do this. I pray that every year we would check our hearts and make sure that we are doing this ministry not for ourselves and not for, not for a dead tradition, but because the living faith that we participate in that extends back all the way to the events that happened 2,000 years ago 
is still alive and we still get to share the hope that is living and true and real today because of the amazing things that you have been doing for 2,000 years by your spirit in this world. God, we lift up the community. We pray for our town. We pray for the people who are going to be coming out, that they have uh, an, a wonderful time and soft hearts to hear uh, the message of the Christmas story. And Father, we pray for seniors in our church uh, right now who are struggling in a few different ways. There's some people who are lonely in and around our church family who have reached out, and we thank you that they have been brave enough to uh, reach out and have family members advocate for them. God, we pray that you would call out more people from our congregation to minister to those who can't get out as easily anymore. And Father, we pray for those who are, uh, who are sick right now. Uh, complications from uh, falls. There's been a few falls in the church family. And so we pray for those seniors who uh, need to recover now from that. And we pray for... Um, Pray for Harvey for recovery from the infection that he's had. And we, we lift uh, up all of these different needs to you, knowing that you are the one who already knows the details. You know them perfectly, and we trust your good hand and work to be uh, there with them in their lives today. Father, as we approach Bethlehem Live, I pray for peace for all those who are helping. I pray that you would uh, bless the volunteers with a, a wonderful time as well, who are going to be working with all of these things that we see around me here in this hallway and many other sets and decorations and opportunities to connect with people. So God, with everything going on this week and in this Christmas season that is upon us now, we pray that you would be glorified, that you, Jesus, would be the center of all that we do, that you would be the one who continues to grow and build your church just as you have faithfully done for thousands of years now. And the work that you've been doing in the world of grace and mercy and compassion that extends far back beyond that. God, we love you and we praise you. And we pray this in your name. Amen. Thanks for joining me today with Pause to Pray Indoors Edition, Bethlehem Live Prep Edition. Uh, have a wonderful week. And like always, whatever God gives you to do today, do it with your whole heart and do it for him. We'll see you next time.